Hi guys, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. Welcome to my channel today. I'm here to share some thrifted books with you. Uh, I got I got some goodies here and I'm super excited to add them to my stash. But uh, what I have, and I have this whole stack right here and just a couple things over here. So this should be a quick video, not that much stuff here, but anyway, so I like to pick these up. I've showed these before. And this one is, I just like the look of this one. It has these pretty full page pictures. And then I think I have time to tell you the copyrights on these today, uh, if I can find it. <laughs> uh, this one is not an old one. This is 2007. So I just really like the front cover on here. I thought this one was so pretty. And I like this like kind of spiral little binding here. So I just thought that was super cute. And then I've got uh, about four golden books here, and some of the, I think most of these I hadn't seen before, so that's why I picked them up. I mean, look at this little one here, Lucky Puppy, Walt Disney's Lucky Puppy. I have never seen this one before, so the copyright on here, and it's so cute. I just I just love it. But let me see if we can find the copyright. This is 1972, and so uh, let me show you the cute pictures of a little bit of writing right here, but little cute lucky puppy. It almost looks like Dalmatian. Well, I mean, it is Dalmatians, but it looks like, you know, it must be a story about the Dalmatians here. Yeah, it's got the same characters. So cute. Okay, and a little bit of writing right here, so... When I make a journal, and if I make up a journal, and I probably will out of this, I'll cover that up because of the writing. Uh, no writing here, just a little bit here, which, you know, I'll t I would be able to cover that up very easily too. And I like this green background, the Kelly green, so pretty. So that's one little golden book. And then this one's Floating Bananas. Am I reading that right? Floating Bananas. <laughs> and there's Floating Bananas. So a really cute little book. I hadn't seen this one before. I just love this one too. And that one's in perfect condition. I wonder if this, it looks new. Let me see. Yeah, this one looks new. Let's see if it is new. Uh, copyright 1993. So this, one, this one is actually considered vintage also. Uh, My Little Golden Book of Manners. I haven't seen this one before either, I don't believe. It's got a little bit of writing here, but it's a very uh, nice handwriting, so I probably wouldn't bother. I would just leave that. And then here's the, what the inside looks like, really cute. And uh, let me see if I can find you a copyright on this one. Uh, this one is 19, 1962. Wow, this is in good shape for 1962, I mean, the cover is, you know, it doesn't look brand new, but, and this doesn't look brand new, but it's not, you know, it's not even hardly worn on the corners, and except for that little bit of writing there, everything's in perfect shape, so that's a cool, cool one. And the Velveteen Rabbit, who doesn't love the Velveteen Rabbit? Of course, I've heard of that, but I don't know if I have any other little golden books of this story. I don't think I do. I've had the Velveteen Rabbit in other you know types of books but not a little golden book so I think this has a really pretty pretty picture of this bunny and then so let's see a little bit of writing right here it says 93 right there so it's a 1992 copyright and this just has some really I think what I would consider gorgeous pictures in it of course I'm prejudiced because I love bunnies <laughs> so I love anything with a bunny in it so cute. So, and those, I love these images. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So cute. Okay, I'll, I'll get past it. <laughs> um, I picked this one up. I have one other just like this, but I've used a lot of it in my cookbook journal. So I didn't want to run out since I, since I found another one and it's in such good shape. I could actually make it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I could actually make a journal out of this. So pretty colors with the yellow and red 
I'm sure, you're sure most of you have seen these before, but just nice little pages in here that I like to tuck into my my uh, my cookbook journals. I think they're a lot of fun to read um, these these tips and hints from Heloise. So pick that up. Oh, let me tell you copyright. I like the colors on this uh, book dust cover too. Uh, let me see. This is a book club book club edition. And let's see if I see a copyright real quick here. 1962 on that one. And I usually pick these up, the uh, gooseberry patches with this binding. I like these. This, and this is actually a little bit smaller than, I think it's a little bit smaller than the other ones I have. I'm not sure. But I like the um, celebrate winter theme on this. And this picture here of, you know, all the baking <clears throat> items. Oh, it says welcome friends right there. And I love the I love all the insides of these types of <clears throat> excuse me um, books, cookbooks. And I'm looking for a copy right here. Look, I mean this is so pretty right here. I think I have one in my my Etsy right now made from one of these. Not this exact cover, but you know, a uh, gooseberry patch. So let me see what is the let me turn it around for a second so I can see better. Let me see if I see the copyright. Don't see it. I know it's here. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. It's 2005, so not that old, really. Not vintage, but I just, I always get these if I see them with this, about this size and with this spiral because I take this out and then I, you know, I can make a new uh, spine and just have a really pretty little you know, journal made out of these. I just think they make a pretty cover. And then, so here's what the inside of this one looks like. Let's see, it has little patchwork borders here and it mostly looks like it's black and white. This is a little bit of a light green border on these pages, but I think that just the images, even though they're in black and white, are so cute. I mean, look at that Christmas tree. And this one is has a lot of the Christmas type stuff in it. Look at that. These could even be colored. Like if someone, if these were in a journal and you like to, you know, watercolor or do some type of coloring with markers, these little black and white pictures could be actually be colored. That would be that would be a lot of fun, I think. You know, they're small, so you could something you could color really quickly and not spend a lot of time trying to get a big elaborate picture color just a little bit of fun you know that's a good idea I just thought of that just now I think I might want to do that myself so um, this is one I picked this one up this is popular science and uh, I thought it was just really cool it's popular science how to home care uh, I don't know I just like the cover let's see what the back looks like here's the back you can see that it's old let's see what what year let's see if we see a copy right here Winter edition. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Now that's weird. I don't. Here it is. 1946. 1946 on this one. 150 ideas ready. What does that say? Ready. Nearly 200 pictures. Okay, so let's see what it looks like here. Again, I know I looked at it when I bought it, but. It's been sitting here waiting for me to do a video. <laughs> so I haven't looked at it in a couple weeks. But uh, I just, yeah, I just like the old look of these pages. And then it was just something different, you know what I mean? And I think I got this really cheap too, so I'll see what I can do with it. I don't know if the pages are going to be too brittle. They're very brown. They may have been a little brown to begin with, you know, kind of a light cream or something, and they just got darker from there. But but I, I just like, you know, something different once in a while to use besides all the, you know, other stuff that I usually use. This is just something different. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's got a little advertisement back here with a fold-out kind of mail-in thing business reply there almost like a postcard I could cut that in half and use that as ephemera and it's stock cardstock so just really neat I like that 
Okay, this one was, I mean, it's a beautiful book. I just saw this and I was like, oh my goodness. Black Beauty, you know, everybody loves that story. It was my, one of my favorite stories I ever read when I was, uh, you know, younger, a kid. And here's what the inside of this one looks like. Just an old, nice old book. Got large pages, you know, on the large side of measurement. And then let's see what the retold for the younger reader from the story by Anna Sewell. This has got a pretty uh, inside cover here. And so let's see. This looks old. I'm just, let me see if I can see it copyright. Okay, so I'm not seeing a copyright right off here. Uh, no copyright on the first pages here, and then the story starts, so nothing on the outside. It's um, Early Reader Series 1. I'm trying to see. I can't believe there wouldn't be a copyright. What does that mean? I can copy it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there's anything I'd want to copy in here, but the cover maybe because you know, it's just black and white pictures but uh, maybe that's why it doesn't matter except for the cover I would and this is pretty but uh, anyway I think it was just a gorgeous book so that's why I got it. I just thought the colors on this cover front and back I mean I could use well I don't think I'd use them separate, but I just like that whole cover on that one. And then this, this one is coming apart, but I, and it's just a black and white, I think, if I remember right. Uh, no, there's some color in here. I'll show you in a second. But I just couldn't pass this up because of the cover. I, I It's falling apart. You can see right here, it's just all coming apart. But I just love this cover. I don't know what I might do with it exactly. Here's the back. Good night with the moon. Man and the moon. And then here's the inside. Let's see how old. I think this wasn't even that old, really. I mean, it's old, but not like. Uh, it looks older than. It's, it apparently was well loved <laughs> because it looks older than it is, if I remember right. Well, it actually is pretty old, 1940, 1944. So this has been around for a good while, yeah. But, um,. Here's the inside pages. A lot of little, like this, pictures up here. A lot of black and white. Green, it looks like, predominantly. Green colors are the color. Here's some, a little bit of that color. Here's some more of that. So those are really pretty pages. So, yeah, I'd really like to use these. Uh, did I see blue? Just that reddish color and the green so far, but really cute little. Oh, here's some blue right here. So, yeah, I think it just had really cute pages, and I love the color. Um, I would love uh, the cover. I would love to do something with this. I just, you know, I don't know. The size is a little big, so I don't know what I exactly I would do except for, you know, I mean, I can make a journal. I just don't know if people want one that big. So if somebody saw this video and said, oh, I'd love to have a, video, a journal out of that, then I would make one, you know, custom and custom one. Then I would know for sure that somebody wanted it. But other than that, I'm not sure. And this one, I couldn't believe I found this. Um, and I couldn't believe somebody gave it away to a thrift store. I just really don't understand that sometimes. I know I've said that before. But this is the Ultimate Dick and Jane Story Collection. And this is probably new, newish, you know, 2000s, I would, I would guess. Let's see. Um, but I just don't understand why somebody would give such a nice book to Goodwill. Uh, it says, let me see, I'm trying to see the last copyright. There's several listed here, I guess. Well, maybe it is vintage. It's 1984. It just looks like, it looks so new. It looks like no one ever read it, um, you know, or handled it at all. So this is just a dust cover here. Let's see what the cover looks like. The cover looks the same 
as the you know the dust covers the same picture. Let's see what the back looks like. Here's the back. Here's all the different uh, Dick and Jane books. This is the one I had when I was a kid right here. That's the one I learned to read in. <laughs> with Sally on the front. So cute. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I found this at, at Goodwill. I mean, I couldn't really believe it that I found it there anyway. I, I usually always get Dick and Jane books if the price is right. And then, Oh my goodness, sorry. I just knocked something off my table with this book. It's kind of big. Sorry. But anyway, you can see it's the regular Dick and Jane like pages, but they're just a larger size, which would be, you know, could come in handy. But I guess it's maybe all the books I just showed you on the back all put into this one book. But doesn't it look new? I, I gotta look at that copyright again because it looks, it, it looks, uh, it looks so new, like came right from the store or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's crazy. It says $14.99 is the price on the back. So let me look one more time because I just can't believe it's uh, vintage. It just looks so new. But no, there's no other Roman numeral down below or anything. It's just the 1984 is the last date. It starts out, you know, with the original, I guess, copyrights, 1946. And then goes down to 1984. I just still think this might be newer than that. So, hmm, interesting. But anyway, I think it was a gorgeous book. And, I, you know, I like using Dick and Jane pages in my journals. And so I picked it up because it was, you know, it was, like I said, $14.99. It says right here originally. And... I didn't pay anywhere near that, so I got myself a bargain here and with all these books. I was going to show you the thing that fell off my table. I've been picking up, if I see composition books at uh, thrift stores, I've been picking them up because they're actually a lot cheaper than even at the Dollar Tree or whatever. For a dollar, they're actually cheaper. These are brand new and I got them cheap, you know, way under a dollar, you know, 50 cents or less, so... I, I've been picking those up because I've been doing a lot of paper, you know, dyeing. And then I, the last thing I have to show you is these cards right here that I got. Uh, I haven't been picking up cards too much because I have plenty already, you know, so I don't need any new ones. But uh, trying to see what's in here. I kind of glanced at these quickly. And I picked them up because, not these, I don't know what these are, Player Ocean... Ocean Players Club for those are uh, the Jokers are all those are all Jokers <laughs> okay anyway these is this is why I got them because of this pretty butterfly and flower I just made a butterfly journal and that's or I made two actually and those are in my shop and okay so there's drag there's some dragonflies here too so let's see real quick yeah oh that's cool I didn't see the dragonflies okay you know sometimes. Sometimes I usually um, go to these thrift stores that I got these books from right here on my lunch break. And, you know, I'm like, I'm running out of time. And I'm like, I have to go to the cash register if I have something in my hand. You know, so sometimes I'm kind of looking, usually I'm looking really quickly and making decisions to know whether or not to get something really quickly. So, you know, sometimes then I, when I get home, then I get, give it a better look through and see what I actually got. So... That's why I didn't even know that dragonfly was in there, but that's really cool because I really think that's, I like the dragonfly and the butterfly, of course, but those are just really pretty cool. So the, let's see, where's the butterfly? The butterfly has the yellow flower and the dragonfly goes this way, okay, has the rose. So really pretty. Awesome. I'm glad I got those. That's something different than I than I have that you know from what I already have. So that's neat. Um, I guess these cards don't have a date on them. I really can't tell. Printed in Belgium and Switzerland. 
uh, and it says something about Charlottesville, Virginia. So I guess that's where they were sold in the U.S. or, you know, manufactured possibly. I'm not sure. Printed in Belgium, though. And then sold in Virginia, possibly. And so, yeah, now I got them from Goodwill. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoy my little, um, you know, thrifted treasures here. And I will see you all next time. And happy crafting.